Imagine this, a weekend on the beautiful lakeshore of Lake Michigan, surrounded by musicians, some of them Grammy Award winning musicians, all looking to spend the weekend playing together, learning new skills, having fun. If the third annual Great Lakes Music Camp is coming this fall, and now is the time to get signed up. Jason Wheeler is the executive director of Great Lakes Music Camp, joins us this morning to tell us all about it. Hi, Jason. How are you doing? I'm Thanks not, for having me. Absolutely, our pleasure. Talk a little bit about yeah, the camp for those who might not be familiar with Great Lakes Music Camp. Sure thing. So Great Lakes Music Camp was started in 2017. Um, the, the basic premise of it was to provide a unique educational experience to people who are studying or interested in traditional music and contemporary music. So um, the majority of our program revolves around uh, acoustic, you know, so mandolin, guitar, bass, um, these types of instruments that you see, you know, people playing in circles around campfires or, you know, that our grandparents used to play. Yeah. Um, there's a lot of history in that music. And that ties back to a lot of um, people's stories and their families and things like that. So there's a big community element to what we do. Uh, we wanted to create an event here in West Michigan where we could celebrate that. There's a lot of those throughout the country. Um, there's some great ones here in Michigan and that kind of inspired you know, where the idea came from. Yeah. And we're associated with a local nonprofit. So it, that allows us to have, um, you know, lean into the educational side of things a little bit more and have youth scholarship components and things like that. Oh, and so we're that, definitely going to get to that youth scholarship because yeah. I absolutely love that you're offering that. And, and it's true. Anybody, you, banjos are involved here too. Oh, yeah, I've never course. met anybody with a banjo yeah. who doesn't have a good story. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Behind a banjo. Yeah. So who attends this camp? Is this, is this for somebody who's just thinking about maybe learning how to play the guitar or somebody who's a, a, a jam session person? It's for all of the above. Yeah. So we, we do have a ton of musicians who are actively, you know, say performing or they're teaching instructors at other music schools, universities, right down to, hey, my nine-year-old son is interested in the guitar and is there a place for him there? So the answer is yes, it's for everybody. Mm -hmm. We design the track so that there's beginner, intermediate, and advanced courses through the day, through the whole weekend. Um, there's several different instruments, so there's some opportunity. If you didn't even know what you were really into and you brought two or three of them along, we can facilitate uh, education on multiple platforms there. So I would say it's for anybody who has a genuine interest in um, this type of thing, in traditional or contemporary acoustic music. I like this because it's kind of, um, when you're learning a new language, yeah. you, you want to immerse yourself, yep. right? We're only speaking that language. That's this exactly is, this, this is, is an immersion weekend. Correct. And, and I think it, it breaks down some barriers that I felt as a musician coming up. Um, it offers an opportunity to kind of connect with your musical heroes. So any, if, if you're not a musician, but you, you know, you're trying to liken this to something else, say you're an athlete, this is your opportunity to sit with you know, your favorite athlete and pick their brain and learn some skills in the process. So there's, there's this inspiring component that we hope they take out of camp and um, continue their educational process. And then there's also just the, the unique experience that we want to offer that helps to put West Michigan on the map as a, a music hub in the United States. Absolutely. Take that, Nashville. All yeah, right, exactly. We're, <laughs> yeah, we're coming for you. <laughs> exactly yep. what I was thinking. Yep. Now, let's talk about this youth scholarship program because there are many different ways to get in this camp. And we're talking the price can get upwards of $900 depending yep. on, on if you're going to stay or you're going to eat. What, is it, what are the different options for folks to sign up for this? So we have everything from a Saturday, Sunday, which would be your kind of basic point of entry. You're not sure what you're doing yet. Maybe you're a beginner and you don't know how sore you'll be or overwhelmed you'll, you'll be um, after a full weekend. So there's a, a lower you know, point of entry there for a few hundred dollars. Dip your toe in there. Exactly, right. yeah. And, and that's how I'm going to come Saturday, come to the concerts. You know, we have benefit concerts at the end of each night to kind of celebrate everybody's learning through the weekend. Their student performances. So, if you wanted to get deeper involved in the camp and say uh, you want to be uh, performing, um, then you would want to sign up for the whole weekend. And we have several tiered packages that would take you right up, as you said, from on site lodging at Camp Blodgett. Um, this is in West Olive, Michigan. Um, right down to I'm going to commute and come and go and I've got my own food and lodging covered. Yeah, I mean, people should realize this is camping. I mean, yeah. really, it really is camping. There's RV hookups and all yep, of that sort correct. of thing as well. So if you want to get involved, where can we go and get more information to get people? Because this is, this is coming this fall. It's, yeah, we've we got a little this. bit of time here. Yeah, so, and I really appreciate you guys giving me the platform to discuss it with this ramp up. Um, that's important for us. So um, October 3rd through 6th. Uh, West Olive, Michigan. It's Camp Blodgett Lokes Retreat Center, and they can go to greatlakesmusic.org for registration, sign up, the youth scholarship components, um, anything that you would need to kind of get involved. 
um, our email address is posted right on there so that we can engage right away too. Perfect. I can only imagine how many bands have come out of it this week. A lot. Yeah, <laughs> a lot. A lot of bands show up together right. as well, and it's kind of they look at that as an opportunity to kind of show what they're doing. So we get a lot of great um, local and regional bands that come out too. Yeah. I can imagine that. You're meeting somebody over the weekend, and then come Monday morning, there's a brand new group yeah, to listen yeah. to. I'm in a band that just started, that basically formed there. So it can happen for you, too. Or maybe you just want to check out Saturday to see what it's all like. All the information at greatlakesmusic.org. Follow them on Facebook and social media, too. Great Lakes Music Camp. We'll be right back.